welcome watchers of illusion to my castle of confusion i'm looking at mike the guitar which was this is a re-release actually um on the zx spectrum 128k um originally released i think it's 2019 i think and the original graphics were that uh, mike the guitar was actually a like full-size guitar sort of thing and i have no idea what i'm supposed to do and why is that tape face or whatever his name is from america's got talent that's a bit of a weird ending screen okay well we'll delve into that later anyway playing this on the retro virtual machine which is obviously one of my favorites emulators for the zx spectrum at the end of the amstrad cpc <clears throat> so a rush ahead and go and get it because it's awesome Right, so we're playing as Mike, which is the, the little character at the bottom of the screen there. Um, so we can go up. Okay, we can go up. We can not go up. Oh, okay. We can go up. It's going to be one of those, isn't it? Anyway, so it's a screen-by-screen -screen game, and the idea is to try and rescue the plectrums that you can see scattered around the levels. And uh, there's that bloody screen again. I've got a feeling we're going to see that quite a lot during this, but hey. So you've got... Um, well, you've got Ludwig Beethoven's head. I, I, I believe that's who that is. Um, uh, or is it Mozart? It's one of the two. Anyway, and he's following you around, but only on the screens that he's on. The rest of the uh, mobs kind of just go left and right across the screen. There's a plectrum in the top right-hand corner, by the way, in case you were wondering what a plectrum looked like. It looks a little bit like Dizzy, doesn't it? In a way. Um, oh, balls. Okay, so you get one life. Uh, I, I, I'm guessing you can get more as you go along. But that's a little bit harsh. I mean, talking of dizzy, it doesn't mean you have to be dizzy. You know what I mean? But, um... So the screen layout is really nice, actually. Um... That, <laughs> he's really intent on kicking my backside, isn't he? Anyway. Um... So, yes, the idea is to go and rescue things. And you've got to navigate the screens to do it and it's a bit tricky because obviously you can see there that enemies will cut you off and then if you have to go between screens you better make sure there's no enemies on the same level as yourself um so that is really bugging me now the it's it's not the game itself it's the game is actually really good it's th these they're really oh that you have to be literally pixel perfect to actually go up those uh, those note ladders that's a bit of an issue uh i'm gonna sit oh there we go I managed to do it there all right so it's kind of a it's, it's a bit hit and miss i'm gonna try and f figure out a way of doing it so that i can pass on to you guys the best way of doing this um but yeah it's it's very sort of you've got to be really really precision perfect on the uh, on the on the notes there is it a treble clef i don't know i didn't i wasn't very good at music anyway so, um, as you can see, the levels are really nicely designed, and um, the idea is obviously to try and rescue the plectrums on the screens that you see them on. Now, you can see there that guy's got two red ones either side of him. I don't know whether we can break him out of there or not, because you don't seem to have anything that you can fire with. Uh, so, like I said, this is a remake, so, so to speak. The graphics have been updated. The main sprite has been updated. Before, it was literally a guitar floating around the screen, and now it's a little guitar with legs and arms and a little face it's quite cute really anyway um so you can see that the uh, whichever screen has got the ludwig or mozart head on it um is very intent on killing you for some reason maybe you've upset him or something i don't know there's an energy bar up there i wonder oh we got energy one is that our life i wonder i'm gonna die again aren't i oh for god's sakes okay so that's that is probably the one thing i would say developers if you're watching this come on be a bit more generous with your lives or give an energy meter or something um the the, the uh, or, or fix the ladder system because it's really not working very well at the moment that's my only real criticism so far is that the ladders you have to be precision to go up and down them fix that and we've got a much better game um that will dock it some points i'm afraid but uh, there we are that's the way and um, why why is he on there I, I, I just don't know. Is there a logical reason why Tape Face is, is, is on your game over screen? Let me know in the comments if you happen to scroll by. Anyway. So, um, yeah, graphics are nice, actually. I quite like them. The, the actual guitar graphics quite cute. I like the fact they're giving it a personality now rather than a sort of just a guitar floating around the screen, which is nice. Um, the other thing I like is the music. The music's very... Well, it's, it's Mike Oldfield... Is it tubular bells? Is that, have I got the right one here? 
so there we are so yeah good choice of tune because it's a classic tune anyway um really like that the controls are very simple up and down left and right and that's it there's no fire button um I'm going I'm to really try and figure out a system for this. So, see, there's a plectrum there, but I've got a feeling we've got to get him from the other side because we can't get through the red barrier. But can we get can we get to the other screen? Is more to the point. I like the different colours as well. So you've got different colours. There's very minimal colour clash here as well, which is nice. And you don't see many magenta um, colour schemes, so it's quite nice that they stand out. Oh, we have now we've got two energy. Does that mean we've got an extra life? Um, it'd be interesting to see if we lose a life. Do we start on the same screen or do we go right back to the starting screen again? Uh, there seems to be quite a lot of screens on this. Uh, it doesn't really make it clear which ones you can go through, unless I'm missing something obvious. Uh, but you, there doesn't seem to be any way you can... Yeah, I can't get through there. So let's see if we can... Uh, can we run over? Oh, I'm not even going to... I think red means no. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. Um, so playability, it. I uh, see. This is what I mean. I'm stuck now. There's no way I can get past these guys. Where's it going to put me? It's going to put me. Oh, right back at the start. Yeah. So that's not a great thing. Uh, so I can see there's a plectrum up there. I've just screwed myself. So that was great. That was really, really well planned out. Rich, well done. Um, thankfully, you can get past that tape face screen just by pressing Enter. Um, I don't think it's really necessary to have that there. Uh, I mean, even just having it there. But playing the entire theme tune of, you know, I think is, is it William Tell Overture or whatever? But I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't need to be that long. You know, just a game over screen would be nice. But maybe some an energy bar or some extra lives would be great. Because this is really unforgiving. Um, and it kind of, it's taking away my enjoyment a little bit. Now the game itself is great. If they just fix this ladder system and maybe sort out the lives a little bit more and uh, maybe, you know, continue where you left off but in the bottom screen so that you're is safe would be nice. Um, but other than that, you know, Mike the Guitar is actually quite a fun game. So playability-wise, it's there. It just needs those little bit of tweaks done to it to help it out a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's because the sprite is smaller than the previous sprite. Maybe that's what's causing the issues with the, um, with the ladders. I don't know. But... Uh, that definitely needs addressing as far as I'm concerned. Now, um, replay value, well, once these issues are fixed, yes, absolutely you'll come back to this game and you'll play it again and again, because there's a lot to do. You know, you've got to rescue all these plectrums, you've got to get the energy bars and all that kind of stuff, and the energy is lives, but where's the fun in that if you get sent back to the first screen every single time? It just isn't, is it, folks? Anyway, maybe for you hardcore gamers out there, yeah, see, I can't get past that. Uh, for all you hardcore gamers out there that like a challenge, maybe just one life is enough for you. Maybe having, you know, being able to... Um... Oh, there we go. Okay, so um, I figured out... I think I figured out a way you can sort of bypass the pixel perfect thing. If you hold diagonally while you're running towards a ladder, you will climb it. There you go. But you shouldn't have to do that because sometimes you don't have time to run past a ladder. You've got to stop and go up it straight away. And it's not giving you that opportunity. So, uh, yeah. Put that on your to-do list for bug fixes because uh, I don't think that's intentional. And if it is, boo. That's all I've got to say. So, um, age rating, pretty much any. It's a platform game and... The only thing that might frustrate uh, younger players is that one life system. As soon as you get hit, that's it, you're dead. And it's game over until you find more energy, but then it puts you back at the start anyway, so it's kind of counterproductive in a way, and it's a shame. Other than that, the game is actually very good, and uh, you know it's still going to score high because the, the, actual, the actual game is fun. Until you encounter the said issues that I've already highlighted. And I'm not going to go back over those again. But it's a good, fun game. And it's a nice little game for the ZX Spectrum. So if you've got, if you've got a Specky or you want to have a go on the emulators, then, you know, go ahead. I'll provide the download link for you and you can go and have a play yourselves. And uh, I hope you will report back to me um, forthwith on the uh, comment section below. I love that. I love it when people come and say hi. And, uh, just, uh, and it's great because people are now going back over comments uh, for games I'd reviewed you know years ago which is really cool and uh, you know I really like to hear from you guys you are you are at the end of the day you are my fan base and I I, I want to deliver what you want as long as you know as, as well as doing stuff that I want because if, if I don't do what I want then it's not really a channel for me is it it's just for you and it's got to be a channel for all of us it's a community channel there we go so um, yes thank you very, very much for tuning into this review I know it's a bit later than scheduled I I I'll be honest with you, I'm having a bit of a tough time uh, in my my 
my remaining parent is not very well and that's all I'm gonna say at this point um, until I know what the actual diagnosis is uh, but it's not been a it's not been a good week at all so I do apologize for the late uh, release of this one and uh, I will make sure that I get back on it uh, this coming week provided nothing else goes wrong um, and I will uh, I will speak to you all again very soon until then folks have a great weekend and I will catch you again very soon. But until then, you keep it retro as per normal. And until then, it's bye for now. Bye-bye. Thank you.